Hello survivors and welcome to We Who Survive. My name is James and this is episode 12 of our Lost World 2.0 run here. So I was unable to make the splints that I wanted to make. Unfortunately, it appears as though you can't make the splints at all, which is sort of funny. Um, but I didn't see them under healing or maim healing or anything. So I guess we can't make any splints, which is very disappointing. Other than that, I did make some gas mask repair kits. I believe I made two, primarily because... No, I guess I only made one. I didn't have enough rubber for two. And the reason I did that is because our gas mask got damaged by the mine recently and probably also by some gunshots. So, as you can see from the markings on it to, like, the left and the right, there is uh, a little bit of damage going on. So, yeah, we are going to push forward. I think what we're going to do while we're in the area... Ibtaba had mentioned stopping at the military area up by Ten Pines. I think that's Sat Station Olivia. I may be wrong, but we're in the area, so we might as well go to Ten Pines anyway, get their mission started. Whoa, there's an ant. What? That's pretty cool, I guess. Okay, that's what I was looking for. I needed to remember the button. It's B. Wow, I could take an ant. Alright, let's butcher it and see what we get from an ant. I'm curious. Alright, just ant meat. Well, that's pretty fitting. Okay, so anyway, what I was saying. While we're in the area, we'll stop at Ten Pines. We'll start their mission. I think Ten Pines, those are the guys who want to send you to Corvega, if I'm correct. So maybe we'll actually just follow up on that too then. And yeah, other than that... I don't know, we'll probably check out the Sat Station Olivia or whatever it's called per Taba's request. See what's going on up there, and we'll make the best of this episode, because I don't really have a huge plan. And by the way, I asked in the Discord about the AP regeneration. There's got to be some mod. Is it at the SCM or maybe the GCM? I think it's pretty clear that they intend for it to be that way, like they want you walking slow and stuff, but I cut it from the recording and then it just makes me take longer to get everywhere. So you're not enjoying it, I'm not enjoying it, no one's enjoying the slow walk. I'd rather just get rid of it, but it is what it is for now. Yeah. Hi Clinton. Yes. Yes. Can I actually talk to you or what? Hi mister. Hi Charlie. Hi, mister. I bet you will. All right, well, I don't know who you two are, but hello, goodbye, I guess. Let's keep moving towards Ten Pine. Ten Pine Bluff. So I think somewhere along here is when I was taking screenshots, I ran into a giant hermit crab. That actually might be it right up there. Right away in a bandage. Okay, do we have explosives equipped? Because we may need them. Mm, baseball grenade? Frag grenade. We'll stick with the baseball grenade for now. Okay, I think this thing is about to come alive. Okay, let's go heal our companion here. Who we killed with a baseball grenade, but that's okay. Good boy. Alright, cool. This was... I thought this thing was going to be a lot worse. Honestly, I didn't fight it when I was taking screenshots because I was on god mode. So I was like, what's it matter? Um, should be good on armor. Yeah, I mean, we're all Brotherhood of Steeled Out, dude. So... We are mad steeled out. Okay, while we're here, we should try and come up here and discover this quarry, whatever it's called. Whoa.
Alrighty, folks. Well, that didn't go so well, so I guess I have to redo all of that again. And maybe or maybe not, we'll do thicket excavations. Um, I guess I'll just try a different route this time. Screw it. Let's see what happens. It's the worst case scenario. I run into more night strikers, right? Little lookout here, still available. Not much good for loot, but some used filters, tiny bit of ammo, it's free stuff. Okay, we are getting nearer to thicket excavations. This time we probably will get the discovery on the slide by, plus we're on the back end. I think it was only the one night striker, so I mean that's not terrible, but... Okay, we're still... now we're at Concord. Oh, so we basically just wound up where we were anyway. Okay. Well, that's cool. Alright, I guess we'll probably kill this crab dude again. Assuming we have to. Alright, there's our Thicket Excavations discovery. And this time, I think we're on the far side of the Night Striker. Here's so. Oh no, it's because we're coming up from here. Okay, so we gotta fight this dude again. Really don't know what that thing is. Injured dog? Oh, now we got some zombies. Well, do the zombies wanna fight too, or what? Not too bad. Let's try one of these this time. Roach meat. Okay, that's interesting. Ooh, what is this? That is different. Alright, we'll take that one to hang on to this time just to see what's up with it. Um, so Thicket Excavations, we got our discovery, we're gonna avoid the Night Striker for now. Lesson learned, we're gonna walk right past that. And let's get to Ten Pines, which is somewhere that we can safely save again, and load from, so... Hey, you watch it, dog meat. Don't go starting crap, dude. You need to get him a bandana, like Daniel said. Hey, there's our discovery. I don't actually see it. Oh, here it is. All right, we got ten vines. Whoa, whoa. We're friendly. We're friendly. What do you want? We don't need any more trouble around here. I'm trying to help you, dog. Didn't you ask for help? You're with the Minutemen? I didn't really think you fellas still existed. We sent word with one of them passing traders, but honestly, I never expected anything to come of it. Most people don't put much stock in the Minutemen these days after Quincy. Bad business, that. Well, is there something you need help with, lady? Whew. Yeah. I'm damn glad you're here. There's a raider gang that's been giving us trouble for weeks. Stealing food and supplies, threatening to kill us all if we don't pony up. We know where they're coming from, but we can't go up against a gang like that. Alright, well... Yeah, I'll kick their asses for Thanks, you. Thanks, friend. If you folks are for real this time, it'll be a welcome change for the better. Yay, okay. Um, wait, we didn't actually get a mission from them. Ah, okay, there it is. It just continues this one. Okay, I don't know if we're actually going to do that next or not. Whoa. The only way problem. you get old in this job My is to assume everyone's out to kill you. Cool, let's trade. What you see is what you get.
All right, so he's still got the same awesome pieces he does. Plus two damage and air. Ooh, man, that's really nice. And that's also not that expensive at 586. So I think we'll be buying some stuff from this boy. This 308, yeah, I think we can sell that. We'll keep our maws in. And I think that's all I had to sell for right now. All right, so we got one little teeny trade in with Lucas Miller. These dudes got their tatos going. Are you, did you not notice these zombies right down here, people? No, dog me, don't even fight them. These guys should fight them. Come on, what are you doing? Fight these zombies. Dog me, get your butt up here. Let them kill the zombies. This is ridiculous. How'd you guys, you were living here the whole time and there was some zombies right there. No one seemed to care. Come on. Right here. Here's the people you're looking to attack. Seriously? No response? No response. You're just cool with that. Aw, oh, dog meat. <sighs> Screwing everything up. I don't have the ammo for you to be doing that, boy. Why are these zombies only attacking us? That's my real question here. What, is everyone else just invincible? Okay. Well, that was ridiculous. Regardless, we can drop a real save and, uh, oh, but you guys got a dog. Okay, cool. Have a dog, but you can't kill anything. Alright, so somewhere right up north here is Sat Station Olivia or whatever it's called. Not 100% sure where it is, but we'll go looking, I guess. Okay, some zombies. Zombies aren't bad. I was more expecting night strikers. All right, a little bit of loot, nothing too serious, but free stuff is free stuff. Man, it is absolutely beautiful out here. Okay, so we are still looking to go sort of more this way though, I believe. And I'm so used to seeing everything in frost, I really don't know where I'm at right now. Oh boy. Okay, we found the settlement of people, it appears.
one well luckily placed shot outpost demonja that's what it's called it's probably not pronounced like that but all right i know we're near the sat station olivia now or whatever it's called um still not 100 percent sure where it's at from here i think it's actually a little south Southwest from here. Raider exoskeleton. Dang. So. Dang. You could. What? What? I'm a little confused. I am a little confused. But we've got a new settlement. Uh, I did not want to pick that gun up. Let me get this. Two plus five percent damage at night. All day, baby. All day. Okay. Now, the only thing is if we store stuff here, we've got pan PC on, so we do still have to be very, very careful about where we store things. So, with that in mind, let's get to storing stuff. Oh, that's right. Might help if I take it. All right, cool. Can I move these? Oh, come on. It would have been so much easier to just move those. No, nothing. All right, cool. So we'll just hopefully have enough to make a container. No, we need two steel. Oh, wait, do we? All right, can we find two steel? If we can find two steel, we can make this happen. Okay, well, I don't think we're gonna find two steel around here quickly. So with that in mind, I'm gonna drop off the weapons and stuff in here and we're just gonna literally have to pray that nobody comes by and takes them. I really like that shotgun. I would like to keep that shotgun, but I think we have all our shotgun shells at Hangman's. What am I hearing? Is that a baby demon tiger? Yo, it's a baby demon tiger. Look at it. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, it's so little. Oh, man, that little thing was adorable. I almost feel bad killing it. Almost feel bad. Um, so that weighs 55 pounds, but well, do I just like put that on? Whoa. Hold on, dude. When that says exoskeleton, that's not like a power armor exoskeleton. Yo. And I get to w keep my armor? Bruh. Forget power armor, we're just... Yeah, we'll just roll like this, dude. It's a little noisy. It's probably not the best to sneak around in, but holy crap. So we could legitimately actually carry that crap now, if we wanted. What is going on? Is this real? I feel like that's a cheat, dude. We just... How did we just come up on so much open space? Oh my god. Okay. All right, we'll drop the mini nuke off. We'll keep the rockets. We'll keep the RPG. I mean, we can. Why not? Might as well grab the hunting shotgun back. What is going on? Dude, this is nuts. It's a good thing that RPG is armor piercing. Oh, man. Look at this. It's got a sight on it. You'd be shooting it all sideways like a G. Yeah, son. All right. Well... I guess we're going to wrap that up and call that an episode. I don't know how much better that could have went, quite frankly. Uh, so, yeah, that's going to wrap up episode 12 of Lost World. Uh, we just came up, boys. We just came up hugely, hugely. Like, that that's ridiculous what just happened here. All right. I still can't believe it. So, let's call it here. Let's end it here. Thank you for watching this episode. I hope you are enjoying the run, and I will see you in the next one. Also, Ibtava, sorry I didn't make it to Sat Station, but thanks for the recommendation, because look what happened.